Hello, welcome to this weather update. It's about 1.30 on July 6th, 2019. An absolutely brutal day out there. Very humid. And with this juicy air, we also have some thunderstorms popping up. So uh, we have, uh, looks like some thunderstorms over Connecticut. Some thunderstorms uh, over, um, looks like one over Staten Island. Uh, more over uh, northern New Jersey. And some over the Jersey Shore. Looks like right around Tom's River as well. Uh, so these are some, you know, pretty, um, they don't look severe though. Right now there's no warnings out for these. Um, we can take a look and see the lightning and see how much lightning they're producing. Um, probably not a lot of lightning. The ones over Connecticut are, but uh, the as far as the, yeah, the ones over Connecticut are. Um, and the ones over, wow. The ones over uh, New Jersey are really active, so uh, yeah, look at these. A lot of lightning strikes around Tom's River are really getting hammered. Probably very, uh, wow, look at that. This storm could be severe. No warning out for it yet, but yeah, we've got a lot of lightning strikes here. A lot of lightning. They're really getting hammered. Look at all these lightning strikes. Oh my god. Wow, that's crazy. That's pretty crazy. So, yeah, they're getting hammered on the Jersey Shore with lightning. Uh, for our area, nothing really too bad going on. Looks like the ones over Connecticut aren't producing a lot of lightning. Um, so let's look at these temperatures, because uh, this is why we have... Uh, and we do have these isolated risk for thunderstorms uh, as well this evening as well. Uh, looks like flash flooding will be the main threat from this, from these storms. Um, let's look at some of these current conditions because it's pretty brutal out there with the humidity. We'll first start off with Farmingdale. And uh, it's 84, which isn't that hot, but look at the dew point, up to 75. Uh, there's a very strong south wind at 12, gusting to 18. And uh, we can take a look and see how hot it got there. Well, it's uh, 84 is the highest temperature right now. Um, we can look at ice slip. 86 degrees. Look at the dew point at ice slip. 76. It's never supposed to be this humid here. This is all due to climate change. 76 is the dew point there at ice slip. I don't know why I'm looking at the highs. It's, it's only 1.30 in the afternoon, so we'll have to look at the highs later. I will have another weather update for you later. Let's look at West Hampton and see what it is in West Hampton. See if it's any better over there. Uh, it's Shirley. No, I want West Hampton. So 82, 2.76. The only good thing is we do have a strong wind. I don't know why I keep doing that. I do apologize. It's my nature to look at the high temperature, but it's only 1.30 in the afternoon. I don't normally do weather update at this time, I guess. Uh, we'll look at JFK. Eighty-five. Oh my God! Look at the dew point now. This is an act. Uh, oh my God! Dew point is almost 80 degrees at JFK. The dew point is 79. Look at this. Look at this. That's not a mistake. You're not. You're not re uh, reading a mistake here. The dew point is 79 degrees. Oh my God, that is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy humid out there. Wow. That's crazy. Let's look at uh, LaGuardia. We're going to go through a lot of the stations. Dew point, a little less humid at LaGuardia, though, but it's hotter. 90 degrees, dew point 70. We'll look at Central Park. 88 degrees, dew point 73. All right, now we're going to work our way into New Jersey. And remember, there are thunderstorms over Tom's River, so it might not be as hot there. So 78 degrees and a thunderstorm, so it's actually cooler there because they have a thunderstorm in progress. 78 and the dew point is 77. So very humid. I do want to see what it got up to there. It did hit 90 before the thunderstorm. Uh, wow, that's quite hot. So let's uh, look at Belmar Farmingdale. 
because I don't think there's a thunderstorm over there, and then we'll, uh, 89, dew point 75. Uh, oppressive dew points everywhere, though. Everywhere we're dealing with these oppressive dew points. Let's look at Ventu Sky right now. Um, and this will show us the temperatures across the area. Long Island's mainly in the 80s. Uh, a little warmer as you head toward the North Shore. South Shore, a little cooler, not by that much, according to this. Uh, Tom's River is up near 90, but if we look at the dew points, you will see these dew points are just really up there. Dew points in the mid-70s. And then let's not forget that near 80 degree dew point at JFK. That's crazy. That's insanity right there. That's insanity. Let's look at the Cape. This is what we have, elevated cape across the area. And we're going to be dealing with this throughout the afternoon. So we're going to have chances of showers, thunderstorms uh, coming through. And let's look at the radar right now so we can see these storms. All right here is a storm. Looks like right over Stamford. So I believe my viewer Samantha lives over there. So she may be getting a bad thunderstorm. Uh, we have another shower over here. This one isn't producing a lot of lightning. It's over, it's over uh, the southern tip of Manhattan, part of Staten Island, heading toward Brooklyn. Um, then we have uh, this cell right here, which is in Ocean County, between Ocean Acres and Tom's River. So this one, this one is pretty bad right here. This one right here is pretty bad. Let's go ahead and look at the um, power out situation. So JCPNL has close to 9,000, uh, uh, almost 10,000 power out. Well, 9,083 power outages. It looks like this area here is being affected here, and this is uh, we have two large outages over here in uh, Fork and River. Uh, this is exactly where that storm is hitting. So over 15 outages, uh, 1,500 outages. Looks like a complete blackout in this area, probably due to lightning strikes uh, that's affecting this area, and uh, so. Lacey Township getting hit very hard right now uh, in this area right here. Uh, as far as further north, not too much. It looks like Tom's River hasn't gotten hit too hard by the storms. Uh, but uh, for uh, further south, this area here seems to have gotten hit really hard. Uh, and then we have another one over here. So we'll have to keep our eye on it. Any, you know, with such humid air, any of these storms that come pop up this afternoon could be strong, maybe even severe. So we'll have to keep our eye on that. I, I can look at PSCG Long Island. I don't think we're going to be affected. We haven't been affected by many power outages yet, but obviously you don't want to be having a power outage. When it's this humid, you need your air conditioning going. Uh, only 210 people out, and I'm going to look at that. So uh, we'll look at the one on the ground next uh, and uh, look at some of these observations. Yes, I know it's... I can sort of see the outline of Long Island, so that's why we're going to go and look at these. So 85 degrees, Crescent Cove, wherever that is, not sure. Click the map, that's Hempstead, 88. All right, so I'm trying to find the South Shore. Harbor View Estates, 87. Dew Point, 76. Oh, we're in Connecticut? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're in the wrong, we're in Connecticut. We don't want to be in Connecticut. Stupid wonder map. Where's Long Island? Point Lookout, 84. So I just want to see what it is on right on the south shore. So it's 84 and Point Lookout, 82 at Jones Beach. So not that much relief. South Merrick, 80. 82 at Nassau Shores. 87 in Belmore. So once you head a little, you have to be right on the water to get any kind of relief. And then let's head in our area here. 88 in Salisbury. So it is a little warmer in our area. 89. Absolutely brutal out there. Bottom line is this. It's brutal. You can't walk around outside. It's just impossible to walk around outside right now. So uh, lastly, I'll just look at the models here in this weather update. Uh, and uh, I will have another one for you later, but I just want to look at the short range, extreme short range models to see how they're modeling the thunderstorm activity that uh, that is developing across the area right now. NAM is really a little uh, underdone, I think, at this point. It's close, though. The locations as to where the storms are popping up is actually doing a good job with that. Just might be a couple hours behind on it. 
uh, and then uh, this f line moves through and this is the line that's going to be moving through around anywhere between 8 and 9 o'clock, 8 and 10 o'clock tonight we have this line of severe thunderstorms moving through these this could be where the severe storms develop so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this this is the NAM it doesn't really have us getting hit but uh, I think the potential is there for a lot of thunderstorm activity given how humid the air is uh, it's it's very the air is very juiced up let's look at the H triple R H triple R is underdone a little underdone in my opinion We'll look at the HDRPS again. We're looking at just the short range models. And I, just to get a general idea of where the storm activity is going to be and when it's going to be. So, generally, it seems to be an agreement around 9 o'clock, 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Can't pin down an exact time, but uh, anywhere I would say anytime after 8 to around. 10, 11 o'clock, this is when this line of thunderstorms can move through, and they could be severe. So there is a risk that we will have some more severe weather tonight, and we're going to have to keep our eye on it for sure, and I'll, of course, have a, try to keep you updated on it as well. So I want to thank you for watching this weather update. Again, you know, if the heat won't get, the humidity won't get to the thunderstorms, will just don't be outside today, all right? Just don't be outside. If you have to be outside, do as little walking as possible because the humidity is absolutely stifling. Take care.